Happy Thanksgiving! I am very grateful for so many, many things and especially for you. I appreciate that I have so much love and support coming from everyone on YouTube. I mean, it sounds crazy, but I feel understood and I feel like people who understand the whole situation are here and supporting me and I want to give as much as I can and I'm always trying and I'm just grateful. So I have to get it out. So. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'm super grateful for you. And now I've got to tell you some more things. Um, one really cool thing is my nephew um, did a song, and it's on YouTube. So I'm going to put a little link and a little little snippet so you can hear it. And he's so cute. Well, he's an adult. It's He's so handsome, and he's so awesome. And I love the song. It's super chill and just makes you relax. It's like healing music. So he's playing the guitar. I'll do a snippet. Of course, if you're not already subscribed to me, subscribe to me and of course subscribe to him. It would be wonderful and he'd be excited and he's done a great job. Um, I'm just a proud aunt and I love it. <laughs> Um, now I'm going to update you in a much more calm fashion about what's going on with my health because who knows is probably the best answer probably defines it actually um, last video I was kind of losing my mind and I was in the parking lot just like what you know the problem is I didn't get to the point that was aggravating me the most is the liver atrophy I don't know how to fix that. I have no clue what you do. I don't know information about liver atrophy. It doesn't give a lot. I mean, I'll put an article in the link here, but like literally it was kind of creepy and it's like you're not getting enough oxygen or something. It's scaring me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backtrack to how it's all going and what's going on now. So I talked to you about how I had to go to the ER and that was when my liver was hurting, horrible pains. I went in, they said, you have a fatty litter, liver, and I'm like, well, that's fantastic, you know, like, and ironically, every time I go in now, I have high blood pressure. I didn't have it before I took the Jackify. Yes, I'm still peeved about Jackify. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I had the fatty liver. Then I thought, well, I like to handle things. I like answers. I went, signed up, got a doctor here. She gave me a big hoopla, said my main language was Czech, as in like Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia from years back. No, it's not. Um, she didn't listen and just was like sending me to other appointments unneeded, unnecessary. Sent me for the HIDA scan, offered a gallbladder removal, which didn't need to happen. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm just going not. back, obviously. So um, I had the HIDA scan, then I had a huge hemorrhage. That was surprising, went to the ER for that one. And um, then they found a big cyst and I was still hemorrhaging. Then I went in and luckily Mayo, beautiful Mayo, clean up crew Mayo, um, they came in and they said, you know, come in, get your blood look worked at, um, blood work looked at, and we'll see if your platelets are up or down. They're usually always up. I'm just very used to that. So I was like, it'd be a miracle if they're down, you know? went in level still high hematocrit hemoglobin everything i thought i was going to skip out on my monday phlebotomy no i could not <laughs> what happened is everything was high so i got that test on friday and went home and thought dang it gotta go on monday then from friday i get my labs back high hematocrit high hemoglobin I feel terrible, the bleeding didn't stop, so I went in on Saturday, went in and went to the ER. My hematocrit had gone down immensely, so I didn't go in Monday for my phlebotomy. Had that canceled, right? Talked to the doctor, and they said, you know, let's, let's get this taken care of under wraps, like this has gone kind of like crazy. And so they said, um, what we'll do is we will get you a CT scan of your abdomen, figure out what in the world is going on with that atrophic liver, what in the bleep, 
and um, also is being tested for Von Willebrands for the second time now. Um, I'll explain that later. So anyhow, I go in, I get a CT scan. The results scared me, of course, because now I have fluid in my lungs. I have the atrophic atrophy, atrophy of the liver. Um, not, I don't know how the, the extent or whatever. And then, um, I can't remember, still a good gallbladder though. <laughs> anyway, oh, and here's the really crazy thing. There was no sign of a cyst whatsoever, not a mention. And I was like, that's so weird. So I go into the girl doctor and he's like, you know what? There's not like, there's no sign of it here. We went over the one CD, you know, the one disc from the one place and the one from the CT scan. Amazing, it was gone. I think I hemorrhaged out that cyst. It was kind of big and, um, you know, it, I felt kind of better to be totally honest. Um, I used to get really bad pressure pains. I still get liver pains, but the pressure pains, they're there, but not as bad. So maybe it was good. Um, so that was really awesome. I was so happy I could have hugged him, but can't be hugging everyone. <laughs> um, so then I got and away they think I'm so cool. Like, oh yeah, I don't have to get this checkup all as well. And I was so excited and yay. Um, I did not get away with not needing a phlebotomy. I went and I got my numbers done. And again, I needed another phlebotomy. They were amazing. It worked really well. They do fluids in, phlebotomy, fluids in. So in, out, in. Um, that was awesome. The girls are there. I just chat their ears off, poor things. Um, that's looking good. Now with my treatment, it's apparent that when I used to do it weekly um, before, that was a little bit more um, what my system needed because then we went to every two weeks and I was still having issues. Oh, and we raised my number to 45 instead of 42 for the hematocrit levels. And um, then we decided, you know, every two weeks we'd go monthly. So my body had other ideas and said, I don't think that you're doing the right thing. And obviously went to hell. And I think with the Jackify mix and the changing of the numbers and the frequency, um, and my numbers fluctuate so much on their own. It's, it's so frustrating. Um, my body like said, no, no, thank you. So now my doctor, she's so amazing and working with me. I don't know. It's so hard to have such a nice doctor. Like I just, I guess I'm not used to it. <laughs> anyway, she was amazing. And she's like, yeah, we're lowering your number to 42 again. And we'll see you every two weeks right now. It'll be weekly until like two weeks from now. Um, but honestly, just so amazing. Um, we can work on it, but now we got to figure out liver, lungs. I don't know if that's even worthwhile to look at. Um, just all my systems, all the systems going haywire again. Um, I, I guess apparently I can't wait too long between these things. <laughs> uh, that, that is, is my, my update now. Um, and a little more clarification from the last video, just so you know, I'm freaking about that atrophy. Um, the most I can relate it to is when I was pregnant, I was in the hospital for like a month before I had my son. Um, I wasn't allowed to do anything and they shoved me full of food, like constant, like six meals a day. It was insane. Um, I wasn't allowed to do anything. So my legs had totally atrophied after I had my son. Um, I was in a wheelchair and then I need some help to walk and I had a cane. Uh, when I was able to go home, I had to use a cane for a while. My mom had to help me in and out of the shower to get dressed, all those things. And slowly I was able to get my muscles back. Now, how do you fix atrophy of a liver? Is it a muscle? I have no clue. That being said, hopefully we'll get answers and work on this whole liver situation, <laughs> whatever. I don't even know. And also, um, I know I go in on Tuesday this week and hopefully we'll figure whatever I need out. Excuse me. Um, I have been sick as a dog. I have had a cold, been stuffy. I have about a day and a half of feeling decent. Sorry, I'm not going to say perfect because I don't, I'm, I've already napped quite a bit today. I'm feeling kind of like, you know, but this is way better. Long story short, um, have some new issues I have to deal with. Um, I'm a solution person, so it's kind of rough for me to just sit down and be like, okay, let's let this happen. It, it's hard for me. I, I just want solutions. I want to work on it and figure it out. And if, I don't have a clue what to do with this one. Um, I don't know. 
uh, other than keep on task and keep following those awesome girls um, that are doing their things or guys everyone who's working out and taking care of their bodies I am trying um, and again I am just grateful for everyone here it, it's silly because it's like I get so much support online and it feels weird like I don't know how to explain it, but I really appreciate love, concern, and support. I mean, and from people who understand. You can understand if you have it and you get it, you're like, you know, I get that frustration. And I just, I truly appreciate everyone. Thank you. Mm -hmm.